Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayan, and today I'm going to talk about Sloppy the Psychotic, which for some reason I recalled as Sloppy the Clown, but I guess it's not called that. I did watch this uh, streaming on Amazon Prime Video. This was one of those movies that has a killer clown that is a horror movie that they're like, oh, this, ha you know, you haven't seen something this scary since Pennywise, blows Pennywise out of the water, blah, 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 blah. It um, has a clown whose day job is entertaining children, mostly at birthday parties. And he seems to have a little bit of a drinking problem, which is escalated once he loses his job for being hella inappropriate with a child at a party and the mom ends up calling the agency and he gets canned which as you do when you're kind of a douche like even if kids are being dicks to you you have to be nice to them that's just the way it is when you're a party clown I suppose so sloppy decides to go on a bender you know drinking and beating up hobos and drowning them in very shallow puddles of their own urine and wreaking havoc anywhere he can. Specifically, there's a group of kind of rednecky type dudes that keep hassling him and giving him shit and he gets called over to their party where they pretty much just want to throw him in the pool, ruin his day, and he, he does what a psychotic, psychotic clown would do. So... What did I like about this movie? The gore is surprisingly decent. There's a lot of gore, which I was really happy about. If you're new to the channel, I am a gore hound. I want all the blood and guts all the time. Thank you. So that I was really appreciative of. Um, uh, I'm going to go into the dislikes. It just seems like they kind of so trauma does this where they'll keep pushing something when it's super super gross to make it even grosser and this movie tried to do the same thing but I don't think that they really pulled it off as well as those movies do which is unfortunate because it's obviously an independent low budget film and that's the kind of film that I really want to be entertained by so I can spread the word so I can you know really pump it up but it fell a little flat for me some of the, the misogynistic jokes against women were just too obviously supposed to piss you off and just, I don't know, that kind of stuff doesn't do it for me. Obviously I'm a woman and I don't appreciate that shit, but um, the acting not super great, the audio not super great either. I know that there was supposed to be a lot of Sloppy's parents, because he does live with them, surprise, surprise, and them giving him, well, mostly the dad giving him a lot of shit about still living at home, not having a quote-unquote real job, and you don't really ever get to see them until kind of the end, but I just felt like, I don't know, something seemed off with the audio track and then what was actually happening some of the time. And that takes me out of it really quickly. Uh, I mean, the pacing too, it seems like this was an extremely long movie and some of the parts that were really, really drawn out didn't really lead to the big, you know, money shot that I wanted with blood and gore. It took a really long time and then it was kind of like, oh, that's it. Cool. But you know, give it a shot, if, especially if you're into the killer clown movies, serial killer clown movies, any kind of clown movies, if you're a big fan of McDonald's, I don't know, give it a shot, give it a watch. I found it, as I said, streaming Amazon Prime Video. I'd probably give it like a 2.5 out of 5 just because I did really appreciate the gore and I know the time and effort it takes to put into that, especially if you're an independent film especially if you're an independent effects house, it's, you know, that that's very admirable that they put so much into it, and I did appreciate that part. So, yeah, I'm sure it's available streaming other services if you do look for it. I don't know if it's available on physical copy. I've not looked, but be my guest. Have you seen this movie? What are your thoughts? What's your favorite psychopathic clown of all time? Let me know down below. I'd love to know your thoughts. I really like Art from Terrifier. He's amazeballs. 
Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can like the video if you did like the video, or you can like the video if you like clowns, or like the video if you don't like clowns. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo and reviews with the groom are also available in podcast form on iTunes. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. Also, please don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators as well. And, um... Um, I was going to make a sloppy joke, but that's disgusting. See you later, guys.